Super Greens. Hello, hello, hello. It's collar. Get a hold of that much dandelion. A bit of celery too. Okay, just a quickie, we're gonna do some Super Greens Mega Mix. Mega Mix, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm gonna make a smoothie uh, out in the street. What inspired this is I saw some aloe, 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 aloe vera. So, it's rare that I will uh, put it in a smoothie if I'm on the move because I haven't got the blender. Like, what I mean is, you tend to see aloe vera when you're out and about, but you don't necessarily have a way to consume it. So, I have retrieved it, brought it back with me. Just trimming off the spiky bits. And it's very, very edible, very good for you. Um, I wish I could list all the benefits. All I know is it's very hydrating and uh, cleansing and alkaline and you know, there's so many good things about aloe vera but I don't know any specific reasons why you should eat it. <laughs> but it's, I figure it's just good to get that variety of nutrients in. So now we've kind of made it into a fillet. Now I can just carefully cut along that edge. See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing there? So I'm cutting towards my fingers right now. Hey, it's gonna start dribbling goop everywhere. Whoa. Oh, oh, it's already just getting gooey. You can kind of peel it open. Yeah. I've heard that this goes particularly well with citrus. Like it's a good idea for absorption to have aloe and citrus together. I'm not going to do that today, I'm doing bananas. See how I'm just trimming it off now? I'm taking that, the flesh of the aloe. It's definitely not the quickest smoothie to make. It's a lot more effort than just chucking some kale or spinach in your blender. The worst bit about the aloe vera is once you pick it, it's gonna be spiking you in the pockets. <laughs> so I tend to trim it almost immediately if I'm on the road. I went for the biggest leaves I could find. That's another trick to get the most aloe for your money. Of course, everybody knows of the benefits of aloe vera for the skin and helping hydrate after you've been in the sun. But not many people know about eating it. And it's not much fun to eat, like you wouldn't put it on a salad. <laughs> That's why I'm putting it in the blender. Okie dokie, we got the aloe goop in there. Now we'll add these greens. I'm calling this a super green smoothie based on the fact that it's super rare and super beneficial to get a hold of that much dandelion. I mean, in England, it's quite easy to get that much dandelion, but it's not very common. You don't hear of many people making dandelion smoothies. Um, you've got to go to the trouble of collecting it, like I used to do in England. I used to even replant it, transplant it, so it would be, I had a dandelion patch outside my van. So I could have dandelion any time I like, um, very, very beneficial for liver and detox. I'm just checking that there's no strange dead leaves. It's basically good to go. Okay, so we'll chuck that in there. Very, very high in calcium, but also very bitter. It's not, you know, it's not nice. No one particularly enjoys dandelion. Next one, collard greens. Again, very high in calcium. Um, just a very tough, sturdy, dark leafy green it's not got the oxalic acid it's not I just wanted to show 
making a smoothie with some uncommon greens, I suppose. That's really what it comes down to. It's not spinach, it's not kale, it's not a lettuce, it's collard and dandelion. I was going to put a bit of celery too, why not? It's not exactly a super duper rare thing, but hey, celery is a good one. We got the space. Chuck it in there on top to weigh it all down. All right, let's blend it. All right, that's the greens blended. I like to do the greens separate to the fruit so that it gets a really, really good blitzing, liquidizing, blenderizing, liquefied, you know? Like, you don't want any like lumps and chunks of greens. The bananas, they don't need much time blended. I love these bananas, look at these. Oh, I don't know what type they are, but a different type. Tasting good. I can feel like the aloe vera has kind of thickened it up. It's a really good way to thicken it. Mmm. Amazing. Super green. This is an adventure. Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah.